is about a West Metro nurse with quite the story to tell. As she was on the brink of death, awaiting a transplant, a lesson in crafting, of all things, helped save her life. It's known as the best hospital in the U.S., but the people inside are often experiencing the worst of times, like Katie White, a nurse turned patient. The doctor came in and said, this heart has gotten you as far as it's gonna go. The newlywed's lifelong heart condition was now so critical, she was living at the Mayo Clinic. As stressful as it was on her heart, it was also wearing down her soul. She had to focus. Honestly, my nurses, my doctors were so amazing. They saved me because they just, they didn't let me give up. They were like, if you get up, give up, you will die. I'm just telling you that. And I know that that's right. As she tried to focus, she was allowed a visitor who would change her life, Robin, with Mayo's Art at the Bedside program. I hadn't done any art since high school. And then she said, I really think you like this polymer clay. You can like make jewelry or like shapes or whatever. So she brought it to me one day and I started and I just like loved it. All I could think about was I want to work on my earrings. I want to work on my earrings. It gave her the will to live. It literally saved me because I had something to look forward to. I had a purpose. And when you are waiting for, you have no idea how long, or maybe you're not gonna get a heart and maybe you're gonna die, because that's the reality. But her reality was life. She got the call, she got a heart, and now she's got a thriving new business, selling her clay earrings at boutiques around Minnesota and Wisconsin. Okay, hey, look at this one. I know, that's the, I know. Is this the signature? That's the signature, yeah. Oh my God. Yep. I love it. <laughs> There's just something about things that are made from the heart. And the heart artist joining me live here, Katie White, this morning. And Katie, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. It's I'm so, so <laughs> amazing seeing how healthy you are right now in person. And I just wanted to have you in because there was only so much I could tell in that story. I wanted to tell a little bit more about your backstory because you're young to be getting a new heart. Can you 38. tell us about that? Yeah, I was born with congenital heart disease. So I've had heart, um, I've had seven heart surgeries. I've had um, you know heart problems my whole life. Um, so I've always sort of lived with this chronic condition, but, um, you know, getting a heart transplant at 38 is sort of a whole new ball game. You're sort of trading one, um, heart condition for another heart condition. Right. And yeah. I know that part of that was so extreme because you were literally living in the hospital. And I mean, I was there was. with you at the Mayo Clinic. You showed me where you live. She couldn't even walk outside without a no. nurse. I mean, you no. were in critical condition? I was. I um, lived on St. Mary's Nassau 6 for three and a half months and I had um, uh, IV diuretics going 24 hours a day and um, I had no idea how long I was going to wait. Um, and I love that in that critical moment this artist came in, the Art mm -hmm. by the Bedside program. You talked about that and this was your first time really since high school getting into art. We're going to show mm -hmm. some of your jewelry right now of what came from this ultimately, but talk about how art really helped heal you. Well, it was the first time in my life where I've had nothing to do and I had no idea how long I was going to be waiting. I had no idea how long I would have nothing to do. Um, so I decided to do something to get creative and um, Robin brought in our uh, like paint supplies and then she suggested this clay and it's gorgeous. Thank you. And one of my favorite things about your story too is you are a nurse. You're not yes. able to do that right now with your mm -hmm. immune system. But this is your new career and you're I selling know. them in several stores and yep. online, right? Yep. What's your website? Um, Katie White Designs um, dot store. And um, yeah, I'm in, <coughs> excuse me, um, four stores, mm -hmm. soon to be six. Awesome. And I have a lot of holiday pop-ups. I love how this, this is year. growing and it's, how it truly came from the heart. Yes, it's so fun. I'm so grateful. It is, and we're grateful for you. Thank you so much, Katie. Thank you so much.